third annual Everybody Move celebration, celebrating the power of creative community. And it really was a powerful day, starting with dance, ending with dance, and in the middle having creative conversations and eating together and really exploring how we use art to build movements for social change. This started from a piece that I created, a Black Girl Linguistic Play, uh, and I wanted to have a platform where I can hopefully empower other people that wouldn't necessarily use dance as their first way of expression. And I just thank everyone for being here. And we're really excited about the stuff that we have to bring. Everybody moves. So inside of us, whether we're moving like with our feet, our cells are in action, our organs are doing stuff. And even if your organs are not working the way that they're called to work, they're still in motion doing something. Everybody moves. Hear me now, we blue, black, not black and blue, we blue, black, not black and blue, we blue, black. Your work has given me a lot of, um, has shown me a path to freedom, um, and a path to power, and a path to loving myself and trusting myself. I appreciate all your energy and all your movement and all your freedom. I really do. Thank you, Camille. Being part of today's event was wonderful and kind of brought me back to the middle in terms of reminding me of why I do what I do. It brought me back to the importance of community and sharing with others. I'm walking away with a renewed sense of purpose and joy. Thank you, Camille, for this experience. It's so needed and I hope it continues to grow. I'm walking away with a sense of community and also continuing to use movement to heal. The experience today was, um, it was a rich experience to be able to engage the community here through movement. I enjoyed how there was movement, but there's also time for like reflection and writing. We learned that it takes a lot to be connected with people. And she learned today that she can feel empowered by making someone else do her movement. You had fun, right? I'm so grateful for all the gems of wisdom that were dropped today, especially during our panel. For the people that are benefiting from your work, how do you define movement? So for me, I think the movement is, is multifaceted. When I go into a space with other doulas, I am always trying to you know, be aware of me and how men, we take up space sometimes. But everything that we're doing from having discussions about toxic masculinity, to having discussions about paternal engagement, to having discussions about actually physically taking care of your partner. I mean, all of that is radical movement and it changes it, the, the, the narrative, and it pushes it forward in terms of a way that men can become more caring and supportive of the partners that they have. Movement to change how we encounter each other, not how we are fighting against something, but but recreating and recrafting the norm of how we communicate. I, I think that's revolutionary. We basically led all the participants through various social dance exercises and concepts and movements, just emphasizing, again, the power in community. We even did a, a social dance collective challenge where we played 16 different social dance songs and everyone had to kind of jump in and do everything together. And it's so thrilling being a part of this experience with everybody moves.